So we're here on North Minuski Avenue today. We are wrapping up a corridor study for all of Winooski Avenue. It starts at Riverside and the study goes all the way down to Howard Street. Um, the recommendations and the, the final outcome of this study is really developing an implementation plan for how to improve transportation for everyone along this corridor. So right now we're planning to go to City Council next week on February 18th to present that draft plan. And for the North Winooski section, what we're looking at is to provide bike lanes continuously throughout, well, really throughout the entire corridor on North Winooski. What that will mean is considering parking removal along the east side, but retaining all the parking on the west side. And that frees up the space so that we can add the bike lanes on a shorter timeline. We have some intersection improvements along the way as well and the implementation plan that we're working on um, identifies our timeline to try to make all these changes as well. So our first step for North Winooski is to start with a parking management plan and really help us understand um, how to manage the parking that we do have on the street and think about opportunities to explore shared parking arrangements off street, um, other parking strategies to, to help us mitigate any of the parking loss that this corridor may see. Um, and so we would complete that study before we come in and make any of the on the ground changes or before we just jump in and remove parking. Several years ago, we approved an, uh, a plan for uh, making Burlington a world-class city for walking and biking called Plan BTV Walk Bike. And in that study, we identified the Winooski Corridor as being a crucial linkage or a, a, a crucial element of that network that we want to build out as a city, um, recognizing that it's really one of the only streets that goes from north to south through downtown, um, touching both the north end, downtown, and the south end, and creating a lot of opportunities for connection um, to really build out that network. Part of the reason why we focused on streets like this and North Avenue um, before it were that they had very high crash rates. Um, so for instance, at the main and uh, Winooski intersection, we've seen 93 crashes in a five-year period. So we really are trying to address the safety concerns that we're seeing um, borne out uh, in, the, in the data and make physical changes to the roadway to make them, these roads safer. So in this section of North Winooski, right now there is parking on both sides and we have just shared lane markings for bicyclists on the roadway. And throughout the study, one thing that we've heard um, is that there is a strong desire to keep as much parking as we can, but also improve the bike facilities and provide more dedicated and clear space for people biking on the roadway. And so the alternative that we're really considering now is in the near term to at least provide standard bike lanes in both directions. And to do that, we will be removing parking on the east side. We chose that side because it generally has less on-street parking right now. So we're able to reserve more on-street parking by keeping it on the west side. You know, through this process, we've been trying to balance some of those competing needs. And one of the things that we did consider in terms of parking removal that, that um, has sort of since been changed uh, as sort of in recognition of that feedback is that the, the section from North Street to Decatur, so basically the section between the African market and the, the, the sushi spot, uh, Shinjuku Station, um, up to the, the, the taco shop at Decatur and, and Union, as well as the food shelf, that section of the, of the street will not undergo parking removal. We had initially considered making that section two-way to increase, increase flow and connectivity there um, for vehicle traffic, um, but we decided that the parking um, and and preserving the parking there was more valuable. So we decided to keep um, the parking in that block. So we've tried to, 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 to change and, and adjust the plans because that um, area, um, you know, has ha we've you know, heard some of those concerns and wanted to add that back in. Um, we are still able to maintain the bike lane going in both directions just because of how wide the street is at that, at that area. Um, but we aren't going to be going two-way for vehicular traffic there. So that was a change from what was initially at least proposed to now in light of some of the feedback we received. And again, we're going to do a parking management plan as our very first step to make sure that whatever parking remains on street can be managed in a way that works well for adjacent businesses, for residents, for loading spaces, for transit. There's a lot of uh, need for this on-street parking. We're also gonna look though beyond North Winooski itself, look at the parking on the adjacent side streets, look within a whole one block radius, look at the off-street parking options, 
and try to come up with solutions to improve parking in the area beyond North Winooski itself so that we can provide better options for any parking that may be removed from the street. In addition to that, it's also important that we focus on um, getting people uh, alternatives to driving because we are in climate crisis. We know this as a city. We have um, laid out a vision um, in the net zero roadmap where we are going to be aggressively trying to create alternatives to driving as a city because rec we recognize that we need to do more to um, build on the work that's already taken place um, to provide people with these alternatives because in Vermont, 50% of greenhouse gas emissions come from the transportation sector. And if we look at Burlington specifically, what we've seen is that um, even though we've targeted reductions in carbon specific to the transportation sector, vehicle miles traveled have only continued to rise. So not only are we not making progress, we're actually falling behind uh, where we wanted to be in terms of those climate goals. So I think that there's a, a sort of a broader picture uh, as well in terms of making sure that we are A, improving safety and helping everybody to get around safer, but then B, also making sure that we are putting this in the broader context of the climate crisis in which we find ourselves and taking um, actual um, steps to address that um, towards you know, getting more people um, walking and biking and using transit as opposed to driving single occupancy vehicles. So we are at the intersection of Winooski Avenue, Union, and Decatur Street right now. This is one of the intersections where we have a concept for improvements and we evaluated a couple different options, but our recommendations here are for a mini roundabout. And so basically that will be a mountable round island in the middle of the intersection with some channelizers leading into the intersection in this footprint of a a traditional roundabout design and so the intent is to slow vehicles down before they enter the intersection, remove the stop signs, and have it function like a traditional roundabout but the advantages of a mini are that the island in the middle is fully mountable so larger vehicles can just drive right over it if they need to and it can fit in a much smaller footprint. So in addition to this intersection, we have a mini roundabout proposed for North Street as well. So the intersection of North Street and North, uh, North Winooski, um, we can also test out a mini roundabout. And our thoughts right now, since mini roundabouts would be very new for Burlington, um, we'd like to either pilot or do a demonstration for these this year and adjust the, the plans if we need, adjust the designs, and if they work out well, build those next year. A lot of this work is being done, being tested or designed this year. Um, all of this is in advance of full corridor repaving in 2022. So we're fortunate that we can kind of use some of these smaller projects as a bit of a testing ground, both for the project design and for the community to test out some of these new ideas before it becomes permanent with a repaving project. So we are wrapping up the transportation study itself and getting ready to advance this for consideration by City Council. And what we're asking Council is to effectively authorize the Department of Public Works to implement all of these changes that we've discussed. And that meeting will be on February 18th. Um, council meetings are open to the public. We encourage everyone who has an interest in this project, um, whether uh, you're supportive of the concept or have some concerns, please either come to the meeting, uh, speak during public forum, or reach out to your counselors in advance of the meeting so that they can consider your input before making their final decision. Um, the project plans and the concepts are all available on the project website. We're doing this project with funding and leadership from the Chittenden County Regional Planning Commission. And so on the CCRPC website is where you'll find all of the project information, including the concept plans and the implementation timeline. So for anyone who's interested, please check those resources out online or contact your counselors or come to the meeting next week.